Hey guys, welcome back to Rowan's Math Club. Today we'll be learning how to write inequalities from word problems. Okay, so today we'll be learning how to write inequalities that have to deal with either greater than or equal to or less than or equal to. So let's get started. So our first word problem reads, the average lifespan of a cat is at most 15 years. If a cat is already four years old, write an inequality to show how many more years it could live. So once again, this is just an average lifespan, so it could po possibly live more than 15 years, but let's say that it can only live 15 years, okay? So at most. So it, it is either gonna be 15 years or below than that. So the symbol that we're gonna use when the keyword is at most, the symbol for that is less than or equal to. Now, most of us would say, well, it's at most. So shouldn't it be greater than or equal to? Well, it's actually the opposite. So at most, that means it has to be less than 15 or it has to be equal to 15. So it's going to be less than or equal to and then the number 15. So it's telling us at most 15. Okay, so we've done, we've written almost half our equation now. Okay, and now it's also telling us that if, it, if the cat is already four years old, you have to write an inequality to show how many more years it could live. So if it's already four years old, then obviously we're going to have to add four to something to get 15, right? So if we have four, and then we have to add that to some number and we will get 15 or below than that so we don't know the value of that number so that was why we're going to use a variable so remember a variable is just an unknown value in mathematics so we're going to be using a lowercase letter to represent that unknown value so let's say that i will use the variable m so 4 plus m is less than or equal to 15. So this is our inequality. Now, m could have, there could be several different, um, what's it, well, uh, um, chances, whatever, the number could be, whatever. So if we go ahead and solve this inequality, we have 4 plus m is less than or equal to 15. We have to subtract 4 from both sides because we want to get the variable by itself. So we have m is less than or equal to 11. That means the value of m, or the unknown value, is going to be either 11 or less than that. So the cat can live at most 11 years or below than that. Okay, so this was our first word problem. The next one says, the Girl Scouts are having a big sale. They want to raise at least $500. If they have already raised $363, write an inequality to show how much more money they still have to raise. All right, once again, our key term or word, whatever it is, the phrase, it says is at least. Now, most of us would say at least should be less than or equal to. Well, actually, it's the opposite. So at least, that means it can be that number or it could be more than that so it's going to be greater than or equal to and then it says 500 so it can be either 500 or it could be more than that okay and then it's also telling us that we have already raised 363 dollars so we have 363 now what can we add 363 to to get at least five hundred dollars so then once again we're going to use a variable so let's say that our variable is the letter n so 363 plus n is greater than or equal to 500 now if we solve this inequality we are going to have 363 plus n is greater than or equal to 500 subtract 363 from both sides we are left with n is greater than or equal to, and then if we do a subtraction, we have 7, 3, 1. So n, the value of n can be equal to 137, or it can be more than 137. So when it comes to money, they have to at least raise $500. So they're going to have to at least, if they've already raised 363, they have to still raise 137, but they can exceed that, so they can raise more than that. Okay, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys learned how to write inequalities from word problems. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye!